Hello guys, welcome to our channel Ask Prep. Today's series is for 11th class biology. We will be studying chapter 20 to chemical coordination and integration in detail. We have also added important notes for your exam preparation. All the best for your exam. Starting with introduction, what is endocrine glands? Endocrine glands are ductless glands that release hormones directly into the bloodstream. Hormones are chemical messengers produced in minute quantities and do not directly participate in metabolic reactions but regulate various bodily functions by promoting specific processes. Next is human endocrine system. The major endocrine glands in the human body include pituitary gland, pineal gland, thyroid gland, parathyroid gland, thymus, adrenal glands, gonads, testes and ovaries. Other organs such as the gastrointestinal tract, liver and kidneys also produce hormones. Next is properties of hormones released directly into the bloodstream by endocrine glands. Do not contain antigens and are short-lived. Regulate metabolic processes to maintain homeostasis. Required in small quantities and some act quickly. Some are secreted in an inactive form, example pronsolin. Target specific organs. Classification of hormones, lipid soluble hormones include steroid and thyroid hormones. Water soluble hormones include peptide, protein, and amine hormones. Next is important endocrine glands. 1. Hypothalamus Located at the base of the forebrain, the hypothalamus regulates pituitary hormone production. It secretes. Releasing hormones stimulate pituitary hormone production. Inhibiting hormones prevent hormone secretion by the pituitary gland. For instance, the pituitary releases gonadotropins in response to stimulation from the gonadotropin-releasing hormone. The portal circulation system helps these hormones get to the pituitary gland. Generation and conduction of nerve impulses, the neuronal membrane at rest exhibits polarization, where potassium ions are more permeable than sodium ions. This creates a potential difference across the membrane, maintained by the sodium-potassium pump. 2. Pituitary gland, the sala tersica, a hollow that is connected to the hypothalamus by a stalk, houses the pituitary gland. Adenohypophysis, or the anterior pituitary, and neurohypophysis, or the posterior pituitary, are its two divisions. The adenohypophysis secretes several hormones, including growth hormone, prolactin, follicle-stimulating hormone, thyroid-stimulating hormone, melanocyte-stimulating hormone, and luteinizing hormone. Neurohypophysis is the process by which oxytocin and vasopressin are released. Next is the pineal gland. The dorsal side of the forebrain is where the pineal gland is located. Melatonin is a hormone secreted by the pineal gland. The melatonin hormone controls the body's 24-hour rhythms, including body temperature and the sleep-wake cycle. Melatonin regulates the sleep-wake cycle in addition to 1. Metabolism 2. Pigmentation 3. Menstrual cycle 4. Defense capability 4. Thyroid gland The trachea has thyroid glands anteriorly and on either side of it. A bilobed gland is connected by an isthmus. Thyroid follicles, which are connected by connective tissue to form the lobules of the thyroid gland, are referred to as stromal tissues. Tetriodothrenine, also known as thyroxine T4 and triodothrenine T3, are the two hormones that are produced by the follicular cells that make up thyroid follicles. Iodine is an essential component needed for the creation of thyroid hormones. Iodine deficiency will cause hypothyroidism, often known as gotter. Hypothyroidism during pregnancy has an impact on the developing baby's growth and mental health. There will be deafness, aberrant skin, and a low IQ. When hypothyroidism occurs in adult women, the menstrual cycle will be erratic. 
Hyperthyroidism is a term used to describe a situation in which there is an excess in thyroid hormone secretion. Exophthalmic goiter, often known as Graves disease, is a kind of hyperthyroidism characterized by weight loss, protrusion of the eyeballs, elevated basal metabolic rate, and thyroid gland enlargement. Parathyroid gland, humans normally have four parathyroid glands an inferior and a superior gland that are situated right beneath the thyroid supper and lower poles. The parathyroid gland secretes a peptide hormone known as parathyroid hormone. The following outcomes are caused by it. 1. Maintenance of proper calcium and phosphate level in blood. 2. Roll in bone formation. 3. Excretion of calcium and phosphate. 4. Effect on intestinal absorption of calcium, phosphate, and vitamin D. Next is thymus, located behind the sternum. It secretes thymosin, which supports the immune system by promoting T cell development. Adrenal gland These two glands are situated in the kidney's front region. It is made up of two different tissue types the inner medulla and the outer adrenal cortex. Adrenaline and noradrenaline are two hormones that are produced by the adrenal medulla. Since adrenaline is released during the fight-or-flight response, it is often referred to as an emergency hormone. The hormone adrenaline causes perspiration, pupil dilation, and increased alertness. The three layers of adrenal cortex are 1. Zona reticularis, inner layer, 2. Zona fasciculata, middle layer, and 3. Zona glomerulosa, outer layer. Corticoids are the general term for hormones derived from the adrenal cortex. Glucocorticoids are corticoids that have a role in the metabolism of carbohydrates. They promote gluconeogenesis, lipolysis, and proteolysis. Glucocorticoids, such as cortisol and cortisone, have an anti-inflammatory and immune-suppressive effect. Cortisol makes up 95% of the glucocorticoid activity. Mineralocorticoids are corticoids that aid in controlling electrolyte balance and water content. The primary hormone of mineralocorticoids is aldosterone. It facilitates the excretion of potassium and phosphate ions as well as the reabsorption of sodium ions and water. Pancreas, it is believed that the pancreas is a dual gland since it has both endocrine and exocrine functions. The islets of Langerhans, which make up the endocrine portion of the pancreas, are mostly composed of beta and alpha cells. Whereas beta cells release insulin, alpha cells secrete the hormone glucagon. Normal blood glucose is maintained by glucagon. Blood glucose levels rise as a result of it. Moreover, it encourages gluconeogenesis. Thus, the hormone glucagon is hyperglycemic. Testes, the testes are located in the scrotal sacs, which are sacs that are external to the abdominal cavity. They serve as the principal organ for sex and have endocrine functions. Interstitial cells and seminiferous tubules are found in the testes. Testosterone is secreted by Leydig cells and interstitial cells. This hormone controls the maturity of male accessory sex organs, beard and moustache growth, and spermatogenesis. Next is ovary. The lower pelvic area of the abdominal cavity contains the paired ovaries. It is one of the main organs used during sex. The primary function of the ovaries is to produce ova, or eggs, as well as the hormones progesterone and estrogen. Estrogen helps in 1. Development of accessory sex organs 2. Development of mammary glands 3. Menstrual cycle 4. Ovulation 5. Water balance by increasing water content and thickness of the skin. Progesterone is responsible for changes during pregnancy hence, called pregnancy hormones. Progesterone helps in 1. Enhancing the blood supply of the wall of the uterus. 2. Placentation. 3. Development of breast during pregnancy. 
4. Helps in premenstrual changes in the uterus. 5. Also helps in the promotion of retention of water and sodium salts by affecting kidney functions. Mechanism of hormone action. Hormones bind to specific receptors on target tissues, initiating biochemical changes that regulate various functions. Hormones may interact with intracellular receptors for lipid-soluble hormones like steroids. Membrane receptors for water-soluble hormones like peptides. Hormones of kidney, gastrointestinal tract, and kidney, atrial natriuretic factor, ANF, heart lowers blood pressure. Erythropoietin, kidneys stimulates red blood cell production. Gastrointestinal hormones include gastrin, secretin, cholecystokinin, and gastric inhibitory peptides, which regulate digestion. Thanks for watching the video. We will drop the notes in the description of this video. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and share. See you in the next video, and all the best for your exam.